What's up everybody? My name is Nick. Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're all here today. We're back by popular demand. Today we are doing the top best all time in the world galaxy whatever universe you're from oscillating multi tools on the market. It doesn't matter if they're 12 volt or 18 volt as long as they're cordless. They're on this list. And now that you know the ground rules, we're gonna get started right after this. The four categories are as follows. First category is gonna be beginner slash DIY slash single use oscillating multi-tools. Stepping up from that category, we move into the apprentice style tools. After the apprentice, we move into the professional category. These are tools that you're gonna wanna use on a daily basis. But the best category is the expert category. We're gonna start out with the single use slash DIY category and we're starting at one of the best home improvement stores in the land, Wally World. Here it is, baby, it's the heart 20 volt oscillating multi-tool. Picking this heart oscillating multi-tool up is very lightweight, very lightweight, which is actually a good thing. It doesn't have the normal oscillating tool feature, which would be the lock-on switch. This actually has a trigger. It also has an adjustable variable speed dial, so you can tune it in. This thing's actually got some features that I like, but it's got a couple features that I really don't like at all. One of them being, it doesn't have a quick blade change at all. The Heart Oscillating Multi-Tool from Walmart is gonna cost you about $55. It's not a bad price. Is this thing gonna last you? Probably not. Is it worth DIY single use? Definitely yes, I, I think it belongs in this category. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. What do you like about Heart Tools? Are you a fan of Heart Tools? I'm not a fan of Heart because they have no heart and they smell like a fart. Moving on. Number two in the single use slash DIY category slash beginner is the Works brand of oscillating multi-tool, 20 volt that is, spelled W-R-X. All right, I'm not gonna hate on Works that much. I will say this, it does come with a nice three year warranty on the Works and the oscillation angle of the dangle is within specifications of most oscillating multi-tools in the 20 volt category. It's 3.2 degrees. It's actually not that bad. We're going to Harbor Freight, baby. Harbor Freight it is. The only problem with Harbor Freight is they have a bunch of corded oscillating multi-tools. They only have one cordless oscillating multi-tool. It's 12 volt. Can you name the company? You Harbor Freight fans out there, all three of you, I can see yous. Name which company it is. Leave it in the comment section below. I'm not gonna wait for you because it's Chicago Electroak. Chicago Electric is the company that is the only cordless model of oscillating old multi-tool sold at Harbor Freight today. Bauer just came out with a new corded oscillating multi-tool and Hercules makes their own at $99. Those are gonna be the stronger ones. The Chicago Electric is the only one that's cordless, so it's the only one I could put on this list, but it's junk! And that wraps out the single use slash DIY slash beginner category. We're moving on up to the apprentice category. Number one in the apprentice category is the rigid 18 volt octane. Job Max, baby, this tool is so versatile, it's the epitome of multi-tool, okay? This thing has removable heads. The Job Max, you could take, you could pop your head off, okay, pop the top, as some people might say. You could put seven different heads on there. Not only that, one of the reasons that you know it's low quality prosumer grade tool is that you can exchange heads from Ryobi. You can switch in and out Ryobi heads and rigid heads on the same tool. How about that? This Octane tool is blowing my mind. The oscillation angle dangle is four degrees. That is a huge swath. Lifetime service agreement. This rigid job max definitely belongs in the apprentice slash prosumer category. It's there with meaning and a reason, okay? And if you disagree, let me know in the comment section below, but that's where it belongs and it's staying there. By golly, let's move on to the next 
oscillating multi-tool in the apprentice category, which is Cobalt 24 volt max oscillating multi-tool, baby. The 24 volt max brushless oscillating multi-tool from Cobalt goes all the way from 11,000 to 20,000 oscillations per minute. Man, talk about oscillating back and forth. That's a lot of oscillations. One of the best things about this Cobalt 24 volt max oscillating multi-tool and why I believe it definitely belongs to be on this list in the apprentice slash prosumer category is the five year warranty from Cobalt that they're offering on this tool. You can rest easy, have a little peace of mind when you're doing your job with this Cobalt multi-tool because of that warranty. We're moving on to the Craftsman Oscillating Multi-Tool 20 Volt V20, baby. Roo, roo, V20! The Craftsman Oscillating Multi-Tool is optimized for control. You can dial in the speed from 8,000 oscillations per minute all the way up to 18,000 oscillations per minute. Dial it in, baby, and then you get more precise cuts. Another great thing about the Craftsman is it's relatively inexpensive. You could pick this up at Lowe's. The kit is gonna cost you $79.99. Not bad at all if you're looking to get into an oscillating tool, okay? If you need to oscillate today, maybe the Craftsman is for you. It is Ryobi, baby, yeah! For the longest time, Ryobi had a brushed oscillating multi-tool, which I wouldn't even touch. I wouldn't even put it in the apprentice slash prosumer category. I would put it in the single use slash DIY. But now, Ryobi has come up with a new line of HP brushless tools that take advantage of the HP batteries. These things are light and they mean business. We have it here. I'm excited to try this out. This looks like a real handful. Do you wanna see a full unboxing and test of this new Ryobi HP One Plus oscillating multi-tool. Let me know in the comment section below. But Ryobi, with the new HP line, moves up into the apprentice slash prosumer category. Moving on, we have another well-known oscillating tool brand. Well, at least it's well-known to me, maybe not to you. But you're gonna know it now because I'm gonna tell it to you right after I get done with this sentence. It's Rockwell! This is the Rockwell Sonic Crafter. Two amp, 20 volt max, variable speed, oscillating multi-tool. Rockwell is rock solid, baby. Rockwell will be rocking and rolling for you. At the price point of $129 at Lowe's Home Improvement. One of the best features of this Rockwell oscillating multi-tool is the Hyperlock tool-free blade change clamp provides one ton of non-slippage blade holding force. Unbelievable. The Sonic Crafter has four degrees of blade angle dangle, baby. Wide swath of cutting. The maximum oscillations per minute on the Sonic Crafter from Lowe's is 18,000. The Rockwell from Lowe's definitely belongs in the apprentice slash prosumer category. It's a solid tool at a solid price, it's gonna get the job done for you. Moving on from the Rockwell Sonic Crafter, we're going to another household known, big name brand that you've probably heard of. It is the Porter Cable Oscillating Multi-Tool, baby. That's right, PC! One of the great features about the Porter Cable Cordless Oscillating Multi-Tool is it has a two-finger tool changing system, blade changing system. I'm shocked. Red alert! We're changing this video up. Sorry, Porter Cable, you really let me down. I'm very disappointed in you. You're slipping. You are slacking on your angle of dangle, and I'm dropping you, cuz. I'm dropping you down to even below single-use DIY. I'm dropping you, I'm kicking you to the curb, Porter Cable, with an oscillation degree angle of 2.8 degrees. Unreal! That's unthinkable. That's ridiculous. Porter Cable, how can you even try to sell this? This is unbelievable. This is tr tr trash. That's how we're rounding up the apprentice slash prosumer. We're moving into some real tools now. It's real tool time, professional category coming up. These are tools 
that you can expect to get daily use out of, they're made for the professional. Whether you need to cut moldings, whether you need to cut door jams, whether you're cutting out grout, whether you're doing this, whether you're sanding, whatever you need to do with your oscillating multi-tool, you can guarantee you're gonna get them done with these brands. Starting off the pro category strong, baby, on the strength. We are starting with the Makita oscillating multi-tool. You wanna talk about a beast of a tool. This is the Makita XMT-03. Yeah, this thing is a tank. I gotta tell you, got a lock on switch. You wanna talk about low vibration tool. This has a variable speed dial that goes all the way up to six. I was just on six, you heard it yourself. This thing means business. One of my favorite features about this Makita is the quick blade change. It is so easy. They have this pin in here that slides up and down. You may think it's threaded, but it is not actually threaded. These are ridges that catch and hold the pin in. Pull your pin up, you readjust your blade on there, put your blade down, you hold it down, and then you flip this back, Boom, it's that simple. When they say quick blade change, Makita ain't lying. They ain't lying. Uh, this oscillating multi-tool is one of my favorites, probably top three all time in my list of oscillating multi-tools. Definitely check this thing out. Once you use it once and you feel how little vibration this tool actually has, you will be hooked for life, my friend. Moving on in the pro style, pro grade category, is my favorite, personal favorite tool brand of all time. It is black and yellow, black and yellow, baby. Yeah, Bumblebee, son. D-Walt, that's right, D-Walt. The D-Walt oscillating 20 volt multi-tool with my favorite quick blade change. On the D-Walt, they have a trigger where you attach your blade you depress that clamp, it unlocks your blade, you slide it in and out. It was the quickest way to change your blade on an oscillating multi-tool before a certain company came out with a new feature. The wall is the pro grade oscillating multi-tool, belongs on this list, definitely won't lay you down. It's one of my favorite oscillating multi-tools. Going from the Makita, this thing weighs, I mean this thing, I mean, there's no, nothing wasted on this tool. You like, you can feel it. It's, this thing is a load, okay? Going from that to the wall, the wall is so much lighter, so much more finessable into areas in between studs, certain things like that. You know, you gotta get in somewhere tight, the wall will get in there for you. Let's move on to the next tool in the pro category. This is the company that took the obscure the strange, the zzz, what's that buzzing out here? What is that tool? What kind of tool is that? That's weird, I've never seen that. They took the oscillating multi-tool and they put it on the map and then they put it in your house and then they put it in your garage. This tool company is known as Dremel. It's the Dremel 12 volt max multi-max. Do you know what's great about this Dremel, this, this oscillating multi-tool? It is one of the most precise as far as dialing in the oscillations per minute go for absolute control over your cuts. And that is because it is variable between 3,000 all the way up to 21,000 oscillations per minute. Think about that, anywhere from 3,000 all the way up to 21,000 oscillations per minute. That's how fast you can dial in this Multimax, and it's 12 volts. Unreal! I will say this, most multi-tools I've used, and I've used a lot of multi-tools in my time, but it seems as though the industry standard when dialing in oscillations per minute is from the base 10,000 oscillations per minute all the way up to 20,000. But you can see this Multimax from Dremel is going all the way down to the slow 3,000 and all the way up to the high 21,000. That is some serious control when it comes to oscillating multi-tools. Kudos to Dremel. Another cool thing about the Dremel oscillating multi-tool, much like the Makita, 
is it offers a smooth, soft start. So if you're trying to work on delicate things like moldings and such, you're not going in there all willy-nilly and going all crazy and breaking or chipping things and messing things up. You got a soft start and electric brake, which is going to keep everything nice and tidy. Dremel still makes a great oscillating multi-tool, and that's why they're in the pro category. They belong there. Can't go wrong with a Dremel oscillating multi-tool. Let's move on. Next up in the pro category, we have... Milwaukee Tools, that's right, the Milwaukee Oscillating Multi-Tool. Now, I will say this, there's a couple asterisks next to Milwaukee's name, and I'm gonna let you know why. If, you, if you've ever used Milwaukee Tools, you will know there's a couple different types of Milwaukee Tools. First off, they have 12 volts, they have 18 volts, but then they have non-fuel, they have a fuel version, they have fuel versions of their tools which take more advantage of the cells and the batteries and usually have bigger, well, more well-designed motors, purposely built motors for those tools. Well, Milwaukee, for years and years and years, they had the 12-volt non-fuel oscillating multi-tool and they also had the M18 non-fuel oscillating multi-tool. But 2020 has been a crazy year and Milwaukee thought they would add to the craziness by adding two new oscillating multi-tool fuel versions. They have an M12 oscillating fuel multi-tool, which we have right here. This thing is awesome. And they also came out with an M18 oscillating fuel multi-tool. This M18 is the pro style tool. This is the one we're putting in this category. This thing is awesome. Much like the Makita, you can tell that it's well built, it means business, has one of the best quick change systems on the entire market, and one of the best features about the Milwaukee quick change I have not seen on pretty much any other multi-tool except the Milwaukee. Maybe it's just me, but if you know of any, let me know in the comment section below. But the quick change on the Milwaukee, where you attach your blade, Milwaukee thoughtfully put four separate magnets on there so you don't have to fumble around and hold your blade on there when you're trying to switch blades real quick. The magnets hold your blade in place and then you just, all you gotta do is worry about tightening down a thumb screw and then boom, slap down your quick change lever and you swatch your blade. You don't even have to worry about holding it in place yourself. This thing is strong, means business. They also, on the variable speed dial, have put an automatic adjustment mode. So when you need a couple more oscillations per minute to get it in there, they will adjust for you, depending on what type of material you're cutting through or oscillating through. Kudos to Milwaukee. This M18 Fuel Oscillating Multi-Tool definitely belongs in the pro category. It is a beast. And I will say this, Milwaukee is now making oscillating multi-tool blades made in the good old US of A, baby. That is awesome. The Milwaukee M18 Fuel rounds out the pro style category. Now we're moving on to the expert category. Number one in the expert style category is the Fine Multimaster. They're the OG. They invented the oscillating tool. When they say that's a fine tool you got there, you know what they're talking about. They're talking about your Fine Multimaster. And now, Fine makes them cordless. If it wasn't already fine enough, they got an 18 volt cordless and they got a 12 volt cordless. And don't get me started on Fine's blades because they make some of the best blades for oscillating multi-tools. Fine has been around for 50 years, but you really wouldn't have known much about it or heard about it unless Dremel decided to make it mainstream. Dremel made the oscillating multi-tool mainstream and people found out about Fine Multimasters and they fell in love with these tools. I go back and forth. It used to be my top number one multi-tool, but I think there is a company that has overtaken Fine and they're changing oscillating multi-tools forever. Stay tuned. Moving on from Fine is another Fine tool in the expert category. We have the Festool Vectoro, baby. Vectoro, what a name. You wanna talk about 
Low vibration. Fest Tool has completely eliminated the vibration in this tool. Another great feature about the Fest Tool is the attachments it comes with. It comes with a magnetically guided plunge base system. You lock in your plunge base when you're making a plunge cut with your Fest Tool oscillating multi tool if you need to plunge, and it's magnetic. It is so cool. Not to mention, what is Fest Tool known for? Woodworking, wood shops where it needs to be clean, pristine. The great thing about Fest Tool is that it has some of the best dust extraction built into the tool. You can connect the hose up to your sustainer system, the Fest Tool sustainer system, and you can suck all day. Suck on that. Fine. I'll tell you what, it's going to cost you though. The Fest Tool is definitely going to cost you. A pretty penny. Is it worth the money? I sure think so. That's why it's in the expert category. Fest Tool Vectoro. Check it out. Moving on. Number three in the expert category is we're coming back to Milwaukee. Remember I said they made an M18 and an M12 fuel? Well, the M12 fuel version I'm putting in the expert. Not to mention it has all the same features as the M18, it's more lightweight. Now you might be yelling at the screen going, Nick, you're crazy. You can't put Milwaukee in expert. What are you, out of your mind? No, I'm not out of my mind. Listen to my reasoning. The M18 I didn't put in expert because it's too bulky. You can't get this in the most areas. You can do the bigger, broader cuts with this and it has plenty of control. The M12 fuel on the other hand is very portable, very mobile, very lightweight. This thing is awesome. And when it comes down to precision and delicacy, which is most likely when you'll need an oscillating tool to make a precision cut, that's when you need this the most. The M12 fuel is going to have more control because it's lighter weight. It's going to be taxing you less. It's going to have less vibration. Paired with the right blade, this is an expert quality tool. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. But there's no reason you should, because this thing is a beast. Now, for the moment you've been waiting for, the number one oscillating multi-tool cordless on the market, the Game Changer, they've changed the whole system. They've changed the way oscillations happen. They've changed every company's game plan. Every company, it seems, is switching over to this specialty equipment. It is the Bosch Starlock Oscillating Multi-Tool. You heard it right. Bosch invented the Starlock system. If you've been living under a rock, this is the only way you haven't heard of Starlock yet, but let me explain what Starlock is. It is the quickest way to change an oscillating multi-tool blade. Bosch has done it with multiple systems. They did it with grinders. They did it with rotary hammers. They're always changing the game. Bosch, it seems, is always one step ahead of the competition. And with oscillating multi-tools, it's no different. The Starlock is going to save you time. The Starlock is going to save you money. It is awesome. And not to mention, the Bosch oscillating multi-tool is a beast. It's a tank. Paired with Starlock, it's definitely expert quality and definitely is the top of my list right now, headed into 2021. Let me know your list down in the comment section below. If you agree with my list, just let me know in the comments. Type agreed. Thank you all for the support. And uh, if you haven't already, get subscribed. There's always new stuff going on around here. You're going to love being a member, a subscriber of the Very Cool Gang. Trust me. It'll be the best decision you've ever made, at least this week or this month. Everybody, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this list. I'm looking forward to reading your list. See you on the next one, everybody. Peace out. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.